This week I'm talking about the seven deadly sins. Now basically this is a bunch of rules that were invented about a thousand years ago by a pope and they were designed to make people live better so you didn't harsh up your neighbour and all that kind of thing. So I'm going to go through each one of them one by one and try and make them a little bit easier for you to understand and see how they might be relevant in your life. If you're hungry, have a little something to eat. Or have a little something to drink if you're thirsty. But, like, the human body is supposed to be like that. If it's like that, there's something going wrong. It's like, it's too much. It's too much. There's only so much chicken you can eat in a, that you need to eat in a day. You see a lot of these people, it's like, oh, I'll get up and I, I'll eat eight chickens. That's weird. That's wrong. You don't have to eat eight chickens. Just calm it down. That's what I'm trying to say. anger, fury, revenge, all that kind of thing. And um, it's a bit like when you're in the queue at the bank and someone's really taking their time, they're filling out the paying in slip, oh no, I've made a mistake, let's get another one, oh no, I've made another mistake. And you just want to, you just want to put your hands around their neck and just squeeze until it just stops. So that's wrath, I think. So yeah, that's quite a bad one. Steer clear of wrath. I want what you've got. So say for example you've got a really nice bike or something and I think, oh that's really nice. It's not about aspiration, it's not about me saying, oh I'm going to save up and I'm going to get a bike like that on my own. It's like, I want that bike. When I was at school, there was a boy, um, he was called Edward, and he used to come in every day and every day for his lunch he'd have uh, an eclair. Now I wanted it and I didn't have it. So what I did one day was, I waited until he was in class and I went to his lunch box, I took the eclair out and I sucked all the cream out and I replaced it with garlic butter. So, um, I think I had the last laugh there. <laughs> Lust is a real favourite one of people, because, like, you know, they get horny and that. And, um, well, basically, um, porn, to be honest. You look at someone and you just want to, well, basically just nonce them up. Love of money. I want more money. I want more material possessions. I've got a big car, but I want a bigger car. You know, I've got a house, but I want a conservatory on the back. Greedy. You don't need any more money. You've got everything you possibly need. What do you want more money for? What are you going to spend it on? Another conservatory? There's houses all over the country with, with five conservatories on them, on every possible wall. Should we put another conservatory in? Yeah, let's have another conservatory. We, how many conservatories can you sit in at once? The answer's one. Laziness. Get out of bed in the mornings. Get up. Use what you've got. Use it to make the world a better place. Don't just lie there. Don't just turn... The bad thing is when you turn on daytime TV. Because it goes. The day just goes like that. You know, one minute you're watching Cash in the Attic. Next minute it's Deal or No Deal. And then that's it. That's the demarcation line. Once you get Deal or No Deal, that's it. The day's gone. You've wasted it. Lazy bastard. Finally, pride. Pride's supposed to be the worst sin. A lot of people get confused because they think, oh, there's nothing wrong with being proud of your appearance or proud of your family or proud of your football team or whatever. But, I mean, I think, you know, we're, we're talking about arrogance here, aren't we? Thinking that you're the absolute top dog or, you know, not wanting to laugh at other people's jokes, which is, that's really bad. Because someone's being really funny and you're not laughing at them on purpose, that's really dark. So anyway, I, I hope that's made things a lot easier for you to understand and I look forward to the next time that our paths meet and um, hopefully you will have cleaned your life up by then.
and uh, see you later. Bye bye. It listens for the tiny sounds of its prey moving about below, but must take great care not to scare them away. Day, this little piglet is certain to hug most of the limelight. In my place, in my place, well, I... I couldn't change, I was lost, oh, yeah. Sam came into the Donkey Sanctuary at Sidmouth about 12 years ago.